Hey everyone, it's Austin and welcome back to day 83 on my journey to 2000. I'll be playing chess every single day until I reach this goal. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, all that stuff. And let's get into today's game. All right, and into the 10 minute pool we go. Let's try to make something happen. We play the Karo Khan against E4. Maybe soon to change. I feel like I'm getting kind of tired of the openings that I'm playing. As an aside, we have a new visitor today. A new challenger approaches. This is Maddie. She is a lovely young lady. And we have a fairly normal exchange Karokan. I usually like to exchange the light square bishop in the exchange Karakhan. Um, I'm sure in the game review, the engine's going to tell me that it was a bad move. But it's definitely personal preference. This is technically an inaccuracy because of this exact situation. I never thought it would happen at 1700, where I'm just winning free pawns. Queen here should be the move because you need to defend the bishop and this pawn but i will probably take this bishop hmm let's go ahead and take so this is technically an inaccuracy and you would rather go c3 instead of um to support d4 instead of knight c3 and um you guys would know that if you watched my how to play chess for beginners video because i actually went over this exact position like i'm pretty sure this exact position i went over and was like this is a common mistake that happens when you're a beginner and a 1712 just blundered it so In the Karo Khan, we are pawn grabbers. So if we have the opportunity to snag pawns in the opening, we do. What the hell is that move? I mean, am I stupid? What the hell is that? Yikes, dude. I'm going to double up on the file. Might as well go here to disrupt his plan a little bit. Rook here on the next move. I mean, this pawn's been hanging, but my queen is better where it is, in my opinion. Okay, now I'm kind of tempted to take it. Let's go ahead. Kill for a queen trade. Sorry, I need to I need to stop playing with my beard and I need to stop clicking my mouse between moves. It's just like ugh. Get so anxious. I'm sure some of you guys know how it is. 
I mean, honestly, I'm kind of tempted to just play Rook, Rook D1. Rook D1. I mean, there's just like, he has nothing, dude. Let's trade a pair of Rooks. Queen doesn't have access to the back rank. That's an important thing that you have to note before you go trying to like deploy your Rooks in the offensive. Okay. I think just simply this move would be pretty strong. There's no way for his queen to defend the pawn. I feel like there has to be some sort of sacrifice for me at some point. Oh, well, there's that move. And that gives him access to the back rank. So I kind of just want to come back and be solid and then take these other pawns because he has nothing as long as I don't let him in. Um, but at the same time, him giving that check isn't a big deal. Because he will need to come back. Right? The idea is here, here here if he takes this pawn i take this pawn so he would need to come back in which case i'm just going to start pushing my a pawn i think okay i mean i'll be honest with you buddy my knight is not in the best spot anyway so i don't really know if i like have a problem with moving it obviously there's only one where i can move it to so let's just go ahead and make that move okay i'm an idiot so what do i want to do here i have to be careful i'm gonna lose the knight if i go here he can give this check and I don't think that I want him to have any more checks. I think I want to go here. And then if he takes anything, I can take this. So that was a big mistake by me. I'm kind of falling asleep at the wheel here. Interesting move. I don't know if I completely agree with that. Let's go here, I think. And let's go here. And now let's push my A pawn, I think. Mm hmm. I should still have enough material to win the game. But that totally sucked. I don't know what the best move would have been there. I'll have to go back and review. I just completely... That's like the second time in the past 10 games that I've like missed... Just completely missed a threat on my F-pawn. Yeah, but I just go here, right? And he absolutely cannot trade queens. Okay, I gotta make sure that checks are monitored so I'm not blundering a perpetual.
Okay. What am I missing? Why wouldn't I take this pawn? If I take this pawn... He has only this check, which obviously is defended by my queen. Okay. Very friendly. Yeah, I'm not gonna do a rematch. I think he must be playing on tilt or something. That sucks, but... Okay, it did say it's the best, best move. So I'm very used to playing this position. As you can see, it's entirely equalized. It's a very comfortable position to play for black. This is a, it's just a blunder. Takes, okay. Now it's an inaccuracy. I don't know why FC8 is better. I mean, needless to say, it's just like a massive mistake. And then the rest of the game was incredibly normal, in my opinion. Um, even this is, like, completely fine for me, as you can see. I'm only up two pawns, but it has me at minus five. You know it's pretty crazy. You completely blunder away a pawn and a minor piece, and the engine is like, yeah, that's a good move. <laughs> the counterattack is the best move. That's a very, very nice move. I like that a lot. B8 check to get out of the threat. And then probably just... No, that can't be the right move because the queen comes back with this check. Okay. So G takes is the best move here. In which case, I'd probably just play this. Yeah, this is the best move. And it wants takes, which I think is... I kind of liked what he did here. I mean, in this position, it doesn't work because it literally just gives checkmate. But um, the idea of it, I, I really liked that. Yeah, this is an inaccuracy. But I just wanted to trade the pieces and I saw this. The reason that I was okay with making that trade was because I saw this move just centralizing my queen holding everything together, restricting the pawn's movement. And I was like, he just, he literally has no moves. And I knew that I could just sit here and basically just like push my pawn. All right, guys. Well, that's today's game. It's another kind of shorter one. Um, I'm still on a pretty good winning streak. Very happy to be on a winning streak, obviously. Um, Yeah, this is pretty crazy looking, huh? Just five games in a row. I mean, it's not like so many games, but five games makes a big difference, you know? I thank you guys for all your kind words about my car. It's really fine. I was just venting. Um, we're going to make it through. Thank you guys very much for watching, as always, and I will see you tomorrow.